Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna give you a beginner's guide to Microsoft OneNote. And then at the end, I'll share a few tips on how I use it. And before we start, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe to our channel as we post every week and I don't want you to miss anything. Microsoft OneNote is a digital note-taking tool. You can use it to create notes and add content to them. And it stores your notes in the cloud so you can use them on whatever device you happen to be on. It's very similar to other note-taking tools like Evernote and Google Keep. You can install the OneNote app on iOS and Android devices and on Mac or Windows desktops. And there's a web version that works on almost any modern browser. As I said, OneNote stores all your notes in the cloud and because they're in the cloud, it can sync those notes between all the devices you're using. So if you create a note on your phone, you'll immediately see it on your desktop. For the syncing to work, you need to log into OneNote. And to do this, you need a Microsoft account. Now this could be one that you use at work or school with Office 365, or from another Microsoft service like Outlook.com or Xbox.com and so on. Once you've logged in, you're ready to start making notes. In this video, I'm gonna show you the Windows 10 version of the OneNote app. But the look and feel is pretty similar across all the different platforms it's supported on. So to show off what OneNote can do, I'm gonna show you three things. How you organize your notes, how you add content to your notes, and how you share them. So how do you go about organizing your notes? The three main elements of OneNote are the notebook, the section, and the page. Pages are stored in sections, sections are stored in notebooks. At the top here, you can see the notebook, which is Matt at Collaboration Coach. Then along the left-hand side, you can see the sections, events, meetings, projects, and so on. And then next to that over here, you can see the pages within the sections. If I want to create a new section within this notebook, I just come to the Add Section button, give the section a title, and then I can add new pages to it by pressing Add Page. You see I've already got one untitled page here. When I press Add Page, it adds another, and I just need to type the title in over on this side just to name it. If I want to create a new notebook, I come up to the Notebook section at the top here and press, and now you can see I've got my notebook and I've also got the option to look for more existing notebooks and then I can come to the bottom as well and press add new notebook and that will give me the chance to give my notebook a title and I type that in and then I'll have a second notebook called personal. You see that's at the top here and to switch back all I need to do is press on it, choose the other one and now I'm back in the other notebook. So once you have your page, you can then start formatting it. You can type freely in the page body over here and you can format the text just like you would in Word. So I can select it. I get this menu come up where I can choose to highlight, bold and so on. And then I can also choose the ellipsis and that will give me a whole bunch of other options like cut and paste. You can have styles, so there's a bunch of default styles that I can choose from. And you can also obviously do bullets and, and indentation. You can also do other formatting like inserting a table. So we can choose the cells we want and then we can drop the table in. And we can also drop in pictures. So if I go to the insert tab and choose pictures, we can choose from file, from your camera, if it has a camera on the device you're using, or you can go online and choose using Microsoft's Bing search. So if you just chuck in a keyword, it will bring you back images that you can then just place straight into the page. All of the elements that you put down on the page can be moved. So if you notice when I hover over the content with my mouse, this border pops up. And if I take my mouse to the top of the border on the gray bar, I can click on and move that content over here onto the right. And then I can start using this area again with some more content. And also the, the 
page itself is infinite. So I can zoom out and add lots more or move stuff that exists already way over here on the right hand side. So you see, you can make the page as big as you like. You can also embed video and audio into your pages. So if I choose an online video, you'll see it's asking me for the URL of the video. I can just paste in the URL. This is a, a YouTube video. Click OK and it will drop in the video. And what's cool here is that I can also play the video straight in line inside of OneNote. So I don't even have to open up a browser and go to YouTube. So now I've switched to my iPad to show off another feature of OneNote, which is pen support and inking. I'm here on the OneNote app on my iPad Pro, and you can see I've got the same Matt at Collaboration Coach notebook open. And in my OneNote pages, I can draw and I have a selection of pens. So I can change the colors and the thickness of the, the pen. And then I've got highlighters and other types of pens up here. I can also change the view to a different paper style. So I can have, say, lines. So if I was taking notes in a meeting, I could write them along the lines just like a, a normal notebook. You can do the same with the mouse if you don't have a device that supports a pen, but it's obviously not as accurate. I've switched back to my Windows 10 device now, and I'm looking at the same page in OneNote, and you can see I've got my handwritten note there. Another cool thing with OneNote is that you can turn ink into text. So if I use this lasso tool to select that written note and then use the ink to text button, that will actually turn it into text that I can then edit as normal text. You can also drop in shapes. So there's a bunch of different shapes you can drop in onto the page. And even maths equations, if you're studying maths or using OneNote for research. OneNote also has features for accessibility and translation. You can see here I've got a statement that I can select and choose the immersive reader so that OneNote reads what's on the page to you so you can hear exactly what's there. So I just hit the immersive reader button and it will take me to this page where I can press the play button. We will solve the world's most complex challenges and deliver a better world. And that will read me the page. I can also translate this sentence by using the translate button and I can translate either a selection or the whole page. So if I just choose selection, I can choose which language it should be translated from and to. So it's detected it's English. So I can just choose another language and hit insert and it will change the text directly on the page for me. So what about sharing? Because your notebooks are stored in the cloud, they can be shared with any other OneNote user. There's a share button on every notebook and that allows you to share a link to your notebook with anybody else. So for example, I can just type in the name of a colleague here and send them the link to that notebook. They'll receive a link just like uh, an, any other document like Word or Excel, and then they can actually come in and start editing the document with me. So now I've switched to the mailbox of the person that I shared the notebook with. And you can see here, it's Megan's inbox I'm looking at now. And she receives an email that looks like this. It's got the name of the notebook and then I've got an open button here. I just hit that and it'll open up the notebook in the browser. And then if I make a change as Megan, so on this company meeting page, I just paste in some text there. It will sync that change and then I can switch back to my own notebook and I'll see the change. So I've got that here. So you can see on the same company meeting page, I've got the text that was added and I can see there's a little marker saying that it was added by MB, which is Megan. So that's a quick overview of OneNote, and I wanted to leave you with a couple of ways that I use it. For my YouTube videos, I often write a script, and I do that in OneNote. I have a, a notebook called Content, and in that I have a section called YouTube. Right now it's called YouTube 2020, because I archive the previous year's scripts and rename it to the, the current year. 
And then for each video that I'm going to create, I have a page and I write a script in that page. Now I don't actually type the script. I usually dictate it because OneNote supports dictating on Windows and Mac. And that just saves me having to type and I think it makes my script sound a little bit more natural because I'm actually speaking the text rather than typing it. So in order to start the dictation, I'll just come down to a new line here. On Mac, you just hit function twice. And then as you speak, it will add the words to the OneNote. I hope that helps and I'll be really interested to hear how you use OneNote or what you intend to use it for. And if you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments section below. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.